Wolfgang Uckert has taken up the fight against cancer. The researcher at Berlin's Max Delbruck Center for Molecular Medicine is developing a promising weapon in that battle. It's based on a major element of the immune system, known as T-cells. In a viral infection, a T-cell recognizes signs of the invader based on its surface characteristics and eliminates it. But cancerous cells, like the one here in black, aren't destroyed because they're derived from our own healthy cells here in blue. The T-cell doesn't recognize the cancer cell as a danger. The researchers in Uckert's group carry out experiments to identify precisely what distinguishes cancer cells from healthy ones in specific patients. They want to help the T-cell identify and attack tumors while leaving other cells alone. For that, they modify receptors on T-cells. Armed with a new key, the T-cells begin to latch onto the surface of the tumor cell. The engineered T-cells are tested first in cell cultures, then in animals, to see how effectively they attack cancer cells. The aim is to use them one day in human cancer patients. This newer form of immunotherapy, which targets specific differences between cancer cells and normal cells, is designed to exclusively destroy cancer cells. The therapy is exclusive in another way, too. The scientists want to customize it to each individual patient. Of course, my dream would be to use this research for as many types of tumors as possible. And I hope this immunotherapy, and I think you don't have to be a prophet to see it coming, will become a real alternative to radiation and chemotherapy. The method is still expensive to implement, however, and tailoring it to each individual patient and tumor type takes time. But the researchers are optimistic that these problems can be overcome, and that in the future, immunotherapy using modified T-cells could play a big role in the fight against cancer.